Welcome back. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronized the inauguration of the command building and the new facilities in Safra Camp. As part of the Kingdom's celebrations of its national days and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, as well as Bahrain's Police Day. Upon His Majesty's arrival, he was received by the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The ceremony was also attended by their Highnesses and senior officials.
سلام سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة ملك البلاد المعظم سلام قف Following the national anthem, His Majesty the King toured the new facility at the Safra camp, which were designed and built according to the latest construction methods and provided with all facilities that guarantee the provision of security services. His Majesty hailed the opening of the facilities, expressing appreciation for the efforts of the Minister of Interior.
His Majesty unveiled the black, marking the inauguration of the building and wrote a message in the guest book in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to the minister and all the ministry's affiliates for the national efforts in maintaining security. He affirmed that the new facilities and the security and logistical potentialities at Camp Safra reflect Bahrain's high readiness to protect its security and its capability of facing challenges. The Minister of Interior then delivered a speech on the occasion. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلال الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المعظم القائد الأعلى للقوات المسلحة حفظكم الله ورعاكم سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظكم الله ورعاكم أصحاب السمو والمعالي الأخوة الحضور السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يشرفني بكل معاني الولاء ومشاعر الفخر والاعتزاز أن أرفع إلى مقام جلالتكم السامي أجل آيات الشكر وعظيم الامتنان باسمي ونيابة عن منتسبي وزارة الداخلية كاف على تفضل جلالتكم بالزيارة الكريمة لافتتاح المنشآت الجديدة بمعسكر سافر في إطار رعاية جلالتكم المتواصلة لمنسوبي شرطة البحرين والحرص على دعمهم ورعايتهم تقديرا لإخلاصهم وتضحياتهم في أداء واجبهم الوطني حفاظا على الأمن والنظام انطلاقا من رؤية جلالتكم حفظكم الله ورعاكم نحو أهمية البناء والتطوير والتحديث وتهيئة كافة السبل تحقيقا للاستقرار والطمأنينة والبناء سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة إن شرطة البحرين في ظل مسيرة قيادتكم المباركة وما وصلت إليه اليوم من تطور واستعداد وعدة وجاهزية وخبرة أصبحت ولله الحمد في وضع يهيئها للقيام في مساهمتها في المسؤولية الوطنية لإعلاء شأن البحرين ورفعة مكانتها معبرا عن خالص الامتنان والاعتزاز لما نلقاه من توجيه ومتابعة ودعم من قبل صاحب السمو الملكي ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله نحو التحول إلى شرطة عصرية ليكون لها دورها الفاعل في حماية المكتسبات الوطنية والحفاظ على الأمن والازدهار سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة إننا وبحضور هذا الجمع الكريم وفي رحاب هذه الوحدة الأبية نستذكر دورها الوطني في حفظ الأمن ورجالها المخلصين الذين وجدت فيهم خصال البسالة والرجولة والتضحية والالتزام والعطاء المستمر سيدي يا صاحب المروءة الوطنية والضمير والوجدان إن ضاق بالأمر رأي أو ألم خطب أو ضيم فأنتم للبحرين موضع الأمل وعنوان الحكمة والإباء شيدتم الأساس وارتفعت الهمم عزة وسيادة وتبقى حكمة قيادة جلالتكم نبراسا مضيئا للشرطة في البحرين وهي تمضي في مسيرتها أداة للقانون بحزم وعدالة وإخلاص وإنسانية وشجاعة سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة في الختام فإننا جميعا نجدد لجلالتكم في هذا اليوم العز الذي شرفتموه ليكون أحد أيام الوطن العهد 
والولاء والسمع والطاعة حماة للحق رجالا أوفياء أمناء مخلصين ولسان حالهم في الروح إصرار وفي الأعماق أمل وإقدام ومن شرفات قلوبهم قوة يقين ورسالة أمن واستقرار ماضين تحت قيادة جلالتكم حفظكم الله ورعاكم ملكا وقائدا لهذه المسيرة المظفرة وأنتم تنعمون في أثواب العزة والرفعة والكرامة ودمتم سالمين سيدي Then His Majesty honored the Royal Police Academy's military pace ticking team, which achieved first place in the International Military Pace Ticking Championship for the tenth time since its participation in the tournament in 2009. At the end of the visit, His Majesty the King congratulated the Minister of the Interior and all the ministry's affiliates on Bahrain's Police Day, which coincides with Bahrain's National Days, appreciating the good efforts of the brave security officers and their constructive role and the high morale and discipline they were possessed to carry out their lofty mission to protect the nation's gains, achievements, unity, safety and security of its citizens and residents. His Majesty expressed sincere thanks and pride in the continuous efforts made by the brave security officers in promoting and performing their national duty to maintain security and stability in the country and praised their achievements in security work and their professional approach, high readiness and security capabilities. His Majesty also expressed appreciation for the sacrifices of the security officers and their dedication to their duty. His Majesty praised the solidarity and joint work between the Ministry of Interior, the Bahrain Defense Force, the National Guard, and the National Security Agency. His Majesty the King expressed his thanks to the Minister of Interior and all the ministry's affiliates for the ministry's continuous advancement. His Majesty affirmed that Bahrain will remain always free, secure, and safe, and moving steadily on the path of development and progress, thanks to its loyal people. His Majesty the King also instructed the attendees to convey his greetings and appreciation to all the ministry's affiliates, wishing everyone continued success. 
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the outgoing ambassador of Saudi Arabia to Bahrain, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Ahmed bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, to mark the end of his tenure. During the meeting, His Majesty the King reviewed with the Saudi ambassador the outstanding bilateral relations, expressing pride in the deep-rooted historical relations between the two kingdoms and the high level of cooperation and coordination at all levels to achieve the interests and aspirations of the two countries' people. His Majesty the King hailed the efforts and endeavors of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, to develop fraternal relations, commending the kingdom's remarkable development and achievements in various fields during his era, which enhanced its status and gained international appreciation. He wished the custodian of the two holy mosques abundant health and happiness in Saudi Arabia, further progress and stability. In appreciation for the efforts of the Saudi ambassador and his contributions to furthering relations and bolstering cooperation, His Majesty the King bestowed upon the ambassador the order of Bahrain first class. For his part, the Saudi ambassador expressed thanks, appreciation and gratitude to His Majesty the King for granting him the order and for his keenness on bolstering historical ties. He wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity under His Majesty's leadership. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to the Kingdom of Bahrain, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Ahmed bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud at Rifa'a Palace to mark the end of his tenure. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of the partnership, cooperation and coordination between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, reinforced by the unwavering support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness commanded the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, for his continued efforts to strengthen cooperation and coordination between the two kingdoms. His Royal Highness highlighted the efforts of His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Ahmed in consolidating the deep rooted relations between the two kingdoms and wished him success in his future endeavors. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to advancing bilateral relations across all levels to achieve mutual aspirations. During the meeting, regional and global developments and issues of common interest were also discussed. For his part, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Ahmed expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness's support during his tenure in the Kingdom and for His Royal Highness's commitment to furthering the Bahrain-Saudi relations, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 115 of 2023 appointing directors of the Ministry of Interior based on a proposal by the Minister of Interior. Article 1. The following shall be appointed as directors at the Ministry of Interior. Lieutenant Colonel Abdullah Muhammad Abdullah Budawas. Lieutenant Colonel Abdullah Hamad Najim and Najim. Lieutenant Colonel Sultan Hussein Sultan Lughneem Lieutenant Colonel Jasim Ahmed Jasim Al Majid Lieutenant Colonel Farida Khamis Ali Abdullah Lieutenant Colonel Khalid Salah Din Muhammad Noor Major Ali Yusuf Ali Al Yaqub Major Marwa Muhammad Muhammad Al Gallaf Major Hind Ahmed Hassan Al Dawadi Major Fatma Ali Rashid Al Zabi Major Khalid Mubarak Abdullah Bukais, Major Muhammad Yusuf Ahmed Abu Al Fatih, Major Musab Ali Malallah Al Khaldi, Major Hamad Sabah Jabir Swar, Major Rashid Zahir Rashid Al Absi, Major Hayat Abdul Majid Ahmed Hassan. 
Article 2, according to Article 1, the Minister of Interior shall assign the directors listed to one of the vacant directorates of the Ministry of Interior. Based on the tasks and responsibilities of each directorate, the necessary requirements of the director and their qualifications and experience. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 116 of 2023, appointing a director at the Ministry of Interior based on a proposal by the Minister of Interior. The edict stipulates that Latifa Mohammed Al Jama shall be appointed as the Director of the Health and Social Affairs at the Ministry of Interior. The Shura Council held its weekly session presided over by its chairman Ali Al Saleh. The session was notified of the message received from the Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Limsellem regarding the Council's decision on amending Decree Law 38 of 2022 regarding the internal regulation of the Representatives Council. The session also discussed the report of the Legal and Legislative Affairs Committee on a draft law to add a new Article 21 bis to the Civil Service Law promulgated by Decree Law 48 of 2010. The Council agreed not to approve the draft law. Bahrain has welcomed the UAE penned resolution number 2720 issued by the UN Security Council UNSC demanding urgent steps to allow, facilitate and enable the immediate, safe and unhindered delivery of humanitarian assistance at scale directly to the Palestinian civilians population throughout the Gaza Strip. The UNSC resolution requested the UN Secretary General to appoint a senior humanitarian and reconstruction coordinator tasked with facilitating, coordinating, monitoring and verifying the delivery of humanitarian assistance to the civilian population in the Gaza Strip. It also called for the need to create the conditions for a sustainable cessation of hostilities. It requested the parties to the conflict to comply with their obligations under international law, including international humanitarian law, with regard to the conduct of hostilities and the protection of civilians and civilian objects. The resolution rejected forced displacement of the civilian population, including children. The Foreign Affairs Ministry commended the efforts of the UAE, the Arab members at the UNSC, for presenting the resolution and ensuring its adoption, noting that it constitutes an important step towards establishing a permanent ceasefire, protecting civilians and creating secure conditions for meeting the necessary humanitarian needs of the population. The ministry stressed the need for the UNSC to assume its responsibilities to ensure the full implementation of the UNSC Resolution No. 2720. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning received citizens benefiting from the residential services in the Salman Town, East Head Town and East Sitra Town projects. Since the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning began receiving citizens to complete the procedures for delivering housing units, the citizens who were included in the list of beneficiaries expressed pleasure with the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to distribute 6,800 housing services to citizens. The procedures for implementing the housing unit delivery plan are proceeding at an accelerated pace with the aim of completing it by the end of next February. The Ministry of Housing is also continuing the procedures for dispersing housing financing to citizens who applied to benefit from TESHEEL financing. The Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, RHF, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, and Bahrain's acting charge d'affaires to the UN in Geneva, Hassan Shafi'i, participated in the Global Refugee Forum. Addressing the forum, Dr. Sayyid asserted that Bahrain shares the world's responsibility towards refugees who are victims of natural disasters, wars, and conflicts. He indicated that the RHF's success in delivering material and serving refugees depends on the creative approach in implementing projects to provide the best health, educational and, and nutritional services to refugees and displaced people, while preserving the dignity of the beneficiaries. 
He affirmed that Bahrain was one of the first countries to bring its humanitarian aid into Gaza, in addition to signing of four agreements to treat children with cancer and the wounded in Jordanian hospitals, as well as the building of a field hospital in Gaza, a 500-unit residential complex, and a school. The Heritage Village Festival in Ras Hayyan continues its activities amid a large and remarkable turnout of citizens, residents and visitors of Bahrain. Until the end of December, the festival will witness various activities for the public, including many shows and activities that reflect the popular heritage of the kingdom. The festival included Bahraini heritage events, historical and heritage exhibitions, folk bands, a handicrafts, police band performance, and a diverse market that includes popular and modern products, restaurants, and cafes. <laughs> 